All right, students, hello. This is uh, Mr. Stottleman, and I am here to quickly give you a tutorial on how to use this instrument known as a triple beam balance. Now, this is used to measure the mass of objects. We start here with what we have is a pan, and then we have uh, arms here. We have three uh, beams or arms, so that's why it's called triple beam. We have three arms. Uh, we also um, have some weights here. These are called countermasses that we can slide along to try to get uh, this over here, the pointer, uh, to be even with zero. That, that's our end goal, is to try to figure out the mass of an object by sliding these over. Um, before you begin, sometimes you might get to your triple beam and, and these uh, countermasses might not be zeroed. So when you first approach your triple beam, you want to make sure all of these countermasses are moved over. You'll notice there's notches here. I don't know if you can see those notches. When you move countermasses, they will stay on the notches. That's when you move these two big ones up here, the 100 and the 10. Now the one can slide, but these have to go on the notches. You wouldn't like put it in between 100 and 200 when you're sliding. You want to have it on the notch. That's very important. So I'm going to move them all to zero, all to zero. And then I'm going to just make sure that the pointer is at zero. It looks like it's a little off. So what I can do in that situation is I can use this adjustment screw right here. And if I just go and I, I turn the screw away from me, I can add a little bit more mass over here, which might zero it out a little bit better. Uh, that's almost perfect right now. Okay, so now I can begin. So now I just take an object that I want to find the mass of. I have this brachiopod fossil here that we're going to look at. Beautiful brachiopod fossil found in eastern Kansas and I will put it on the pan and you'll notice as soon as I put it on the pan it's off now there's too much mass on this side so I need to use these counterweights to even it out the way in which you begin is you want to start with the biggest of the arms you want to start with a hundred and so I'm going to move it one at a time and my goal is to try to get this to go down so right now I'm a hundred it's still too heavy on the fossil sides. How about 200? Look, now 200, is, it's too heavy on this side, which means my mass of this fossil is in between 100 and 200 because 100 was not heavy enough. 200 is too heavy. So I'm going to go back now to 100. I know it's between 100 and 200. So at this point, then I can start using my tins back here. So I move it along. And remember, I have to keep it on the notch as I'm doing this. I'm just going to kind of go to 50. Nope. 60. Uh, nope. Seven, oh, 70 is too heavy. 60 was too light. 70 is too heavy. So it's in between 60 and 70. So now I know it's in between 160 and 170. So I'm going to go back to 160. Always go back to the previous one when you're doing this. So now I have 160 what? So now I go to my ones here. And by the way, I'm doing this in grams. So now I slide it. And I just kind of keep sliding until I'm watching this while I slide to see when it starts to come to zero. Oh. It might be a little too far. So I'm going to go back a little bit. And that looks almost perfect right there. So 100. 67, and if you really look carefully at this, it goes to nearest tenth of a gram, so 167.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6. One 167.6 grams is the weight of this brachiopod fossil. 167.6 grams. So I'm finished. I'll zero it all back out. And I'll start with my next object that I'm doing. Now, this is a triple beam. We do also have a quadruple beam. Look at this one. This one's quadruple. I'm going to move my camera a little bit here. So a quadruple just has four arms now. And it goes a little bit more specific. I think this can go to the nearest hundredth, I believe. 
Same principle applies. You have your pan here. Before you begin, you want to zero it all out. You want to make sure, looks like I need to add a little bit of counter mass. With the screw, still a little bit too heavy. Get this to stop swaying here too. This one's a little bit more tricky to use. It's more precise, which means you have to be really uh, uh, specific. Let's see if that one will work. That looks pretty good. Okay, so the triple beam said 167.6. Six, is that what I said? Let's see what this one does. So we'll put it in here. 100 is right there. 200 is too heavy. So go back to 100. I'm just going to go to the 6 here. Here's on 60. is too light. 70 is too heavy. Good. So there's 160. And then I said 7. So let's see. The 6 is too light. The seven is too light. The eight is too heavy. Ooh, is it? The eight's a little bit too heavy. So I'm gonna go to the seven. So 167 point. Ooh, it's a little bit heavier on this quadruple beam. So this quadruple beam is showing 167 point eight seven 167.87, 167.87, 167 and 87 hundredths of a gram. Wow. Okay. So there you go. You will be using mostly the triple beam, but it is kind of fun to use both of them. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.